Hi, this is Martin LaMonica with CNET. I'm in Washington, D.C. on the National Mall at the Solar Decathlon. It's a competition between 20 colleges to build the best solar home. These homes, this little solar village, will run entirely in the sun for 10 days. This year we're seeing some new technologies, including building integrated photovoltaics where there are solar cells built onto the siding of the houses, LED lighting, and many of the homes have energy monitors that let people control and track how much electricity they use in their home. This year's winner was Team Germany, which built a house with solar cells on the roof and on the siding. Altogether, it was able to produce about two times the electricity the house needs. It also had an automated system for pulling in outdoor air for heating and cooling. We did a really high efficient building envelope, which is compliant to passive house standard in Germany. And if you do so, you are able to give all the energy for heating and cooling inside of the space by air into the room. Team California, which came in third place, had an energy management system accessible through a touchscreen display or an iPhone for monitoring energy use and controlling lighting and appliances. We didn't want it to make it a science experiment. We wanted to make it a house that someone would want to live in. Um, one of the goals of our, our project was to come up with a design that we can actually reproduce in the future, it's something that people would want to buy instead of just this spaceship looking crazy structure. We wanted to make it more livable and something realistic. Not all the houses were as high tech though. Many others focused on practicality or affordability. Rice University, for example, made a net zero energy home that could be built for $80,000. All, all these teams, we're, we're doing this as part of a research project for the Department of Energy. So, you know, uh, we want people to come through, take a look at the stuff. All the things in this house they can buy on their own. They can go down to Ikea or Home Depot <coughs> and buy all the parts. Uh, and we want people to take a look and change it. Uh, we, I'd love to see uh, a couple of copycats of these popping up all over. <laughs> There's a real mix out here. Some of these houses do use mostly off-the-shelf technologies mainstream building um, components. Other universities are really trying to push that envelope, push the innovation, come up with new products working with industry. The houses are open to the public for a reason. They're supposed to give people some ideas on how green building technologies can be used back at people's homes, such as efficient appliances, lighting, and obviously solar panels. This is Martin LaMonica for CNET. Thanks for watching.